Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you an EAFC 24 Sal player review. This is the 6 foot tall, high medium work rate, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot which is nice, left footed, control acceleration type, 85 rated central midfielder uh, from Spain and Atletico Madrid. I paid 58k for him. That's kind of what his price has settled down at, it seems like. Um, he can play in central midfielder, or he is a central midfielder, so he can also play in left wing back and left mid as well, which is quite a vast range of places to be able to play him. Um, and he has only got the one play style, and that is the uh, the finesse shots. So I'll be trying some finesse shots with him. I don't tend to normally try finesse shots, but we'll see how that goes. His actual stats there at 77 pace, not too bad for a central midfielder. Wouldn't play at left wing back or left mid to be honest 82 shooting really good with 86 shot power 81 passing very nice as well 85 short pass being the standout for me 85 vision as well on there 85 dribbling um, 87 ball control 87 composure 86 dribbling really nice 83 defending as well with 83 standing tackle 86 head and accuracy and an 80 physical with pretty much 80 all round and 87 for the jumping really really solid card I mean he's one step off of being Hullet Gang which is just fantastic at this point in the game um yeah, really, really good. Dribbling, obviously, the standout, but good, good defending and good shooting. I mean, he's just an all-round really good player. Again, I don't, I think he'd be wasted at left wing back or left mid, playing as a central midfielder. So we've got him here playing as a central midfielder, of course. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm in the white there, as you can see. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I played five games with him. Here he is on the ball. He's left-footed, let's not forget that, but he has got the four-star four weak foot. Really, really, really solid dribbling there, and he puts the ball in the back of the net with his left foot. Absolutely fantastic great start to my career with him uh, this is my very first game with him it's 2-2 this game this is the second half he didn't really do an awful lot in the first half of this game so I didn't think there was too much point showing that um, but yeah this is the, the second game that I played or I think second game first or second game I'm not entirely sure that I played with him um, as I say in these reviews I always do play five games with the players before giving my overall verdict um, so that will be at the end of the uh, the end of the video unfortunately we go 3-2 uh, down it doesn't really matter to be honest the score um, in a I was reviewing like a goalkeeper or defender then we'd probably be worrying about goals that are going in but to be honest we are more worrying about the attacking aspects with this guy although he does have some defending as well but really really good dribbling I mean look at that unfortunately I overdone it a little bit there um, but just really really solid dri uh, dribbling this guy's dribbling was outstanding for me um, but yeah I mean just there he is again oh, unfortunately that wasn't the best to be honest but I, it was so congested it always seems to be congested this central midfielder position for me I don't know if it's the formation that I'm playing or the formation the opponents are playing I don't know what it is but I just end up in that central midfielder position for either of us in every game that I play the ball seems to lose possession quite regularly and I don't know what it is as soon as you can get past that though you're pretty much in for a goal I don't know there's Sal great great ball over the top Beto gets to it sort of um, but his defender does well but it was a really good ball over the top really good passing shown from Sal um, and that is the main thing really that, uh, that he is doing his job for the purpose of this review um, here he is again he kind of seems like he's all over the place which is great I love that um, but sometimes you kind of want him in a more of an attacking position here he is and uh, we get the shot away and it actually ends up in the back of the net I thought that, that was going wide to be honest I remember that that went wide he had a few of, of those sorts of attacks um, and shots and where they did go wide but that one actually found the back of the net really really solid um, so yeah I mean that's two goals already um, in this in this second half really really good for a central midfielder not something that you tend to expect but his shooting is really good so kind of I guess you would expect it a little bit um, with him but his pace is just the only thing that's down on him. To be honest, I would put a chemistry style on that increases the pace. Maybe like a hunter or something would work really well on this card because that would increase his pace and shooting. All the other stats are absolutely fantastic at this point in the game. So yeah, I think maybe a hunter would work tremendously well. Um, we are now 4-3 down, annoyingly. Um, trying to gloss over that a little bit by talking about the hunter. But here is Sal. I mean, look, the close ball control... He, Definitely should have won a foul there. I'm not convinced that that wasn't a foul. Um, but yeah, the close ball control that he has is just ridiculous. Um, he was he's able to turn away from people very easily. It is just a strength that's a little bit weak. He has only got 80 strength, which isn't particularly high anyway. So I guess I shouldn't be expecting too much to come out of the strength. Um, but maybe a little bit better than what, what he is showing here with only um, the 80. But look at that. And he doesn't quite finish that one. I probably should have chipped that maybe. I don't know. Um, chips I feel like aren't as effective on this uh, EAFC24 as they are previously on FIFA's. Um, but yeah, I feel, I feel like maybe a chip might have got him the hat trick there. Um, which is a shame that we didn't quite manage. I don't know what my keeper was doing there. That we didn't manage to get the hat trick. 
not a lot really for sale long uh, power shot there going absolutely nowhere near the goal which obviously I'll take that all day long but you see there top top left shots Sal's had six um, which is great that means that he's getting into very attacking positions um, here he is again on the ball decent enough pass and he's making a run there he's going to stray offside before I even get the ball to him though unfortunately but yeah, I mean, that Beto's passing is absolutely diabolical. That is the only downside about him um, that, I've, that I've found so far with his Evo. But, yeah, that was never getting through to Sal. It was very optimistic for me to even try that, to be honest. Right, there we go. We win the ball back. And uh, Silva, Sal's in the middle there. He's always in the middle. It seems like he's just in where you want him, to be honest. Um, didn't quite manage to get that through to pretty much anyone. That was Beto's passing again, letting me down a little bit there. Um, but as I said, I mean, Sal's doing his job tremendously well. I mean, he's, he's always in the play. You've seen him sort of off the ball. He's always getting himself into good positions. He's scored two goals. He's made some good passes and his dribbling looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm very happy so far with this card. Hopefully that will continue. Uh, that was lucky that he had a very poor shot there. Hopefully that will continue um, in, the, in the next few games that I play with him before giving the overall verdict. But I mean, in this game in particular, um, I think that he's really, really shone. And see if we can get him in. I mean, he's there. What a pass that is as well. Just fantastic. Building up the play brilliantly. Exactly what you're wanting from a central midfielder. And uh, we get the goal. And that was pretty much all started from Sale. So yeah, really, really solid. Let's get back into the in-game stats and uh, let's give our overall final verdict on whether I think he's worth it. Alright, so 77 pace. Unfortunately, it is 77 and it did feel like 77. He wasn't the fastest. You maybe could argue that it could be increased to about like a 78, but it's only a one-notch increase. It wouldn't really make too much of a difference. 82 shooting. I think that we can probably increase that to an 84. Shooting felt really, really good you saw him score some nice goals there particularly on that left foot of his really solid um, passing at 81 I feel like that's a bit low uh, it's the free kick accuracy just really bringing the overall passing rating down so I'm actually going to increase that pass into an 83 um, dribbling at 85 I feel like that's an absolute robbery as well I think it's dribbling has to be up to an 87 Really, really solid on the dribbling. Uh, yeah, can't be an 85. And an 83 defending, I think we'll stick with. I didn't really notice that he did too much defending-wise, um, so we'll just stick with that. And an 80 physical, I think it's a fair result as well. Um, he, did, he wasn't the strongest. He was getting pushed off the ball a little bit here and there, so we'll stick with the, uh, the 80 physical. But, I mean, overall, we've increased quite a few stats on there. We increased his shooting, his passing, his dribbling, kept the others the same. 58k i think this is actually a massive bargain i think he's going to be one of these players that with a couple more upgrades he is going to be one that people are going to be talking about in eafc um towards the end of the game because if you increase that pace a little bit he is looking like a really good card he's almost hullet gang and just a fantastic overall card that you're going to be wanting in your squad if you've got a La Liga Spanish uh, or if you can fit him into your team somehow. So hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of EAFC24 player reviews. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.